Mm-hmm. And I would put, I think Jerry, Jerry's probably third. Or f- Almost everyone thinks Jerry Rice is the greatest wide receiver in NFL history. Randy Moss does not. Instead, Moss calls himself the best receiver ever, Terrell Owens second, and Rice comes in after them. Asked on Owens' podcast who he considers the best, that's the order Moss put them in. Moss said, Randy, who's the best receiver to ever play in the NFL? You talking to him. Already. Okay. So I put I put myself first, I'll put T.O. second. Mm-hmm. And I would put, I think Jerry, Jerry's probably third or fourth. Moss also said, I would put Jerry probably third or fourth. I'm talking about dominating the game and changing the game of football. I don't live on statistics because if you live on statistics and live on championships, that's all political. You've seen guys released or cut from a team just by a couple words in the media. You've seen guys given contracts or you've seen guys not given contracts just because of the color of their skin. You've got to throw politics out of the game of football and look at the impact of what each individual was able to make in the game of football. Owen seemed to agree, noting that Rice played most of his career with either Joe Montana or Steve Young. When you think about Jerry and the quarterbacks he played with, he never had a drop-off in quarterback. He went from one Hall of Fame quarterback to another, Owen said. Moss did say he wasn't trying to diminish what Rice accomplished. I don't want the fans and the people watching your podcast to get it messed up that we dislike or discredit anything Jerry Rice was able to do or ever accomplish, Moss said. I don't want people to think myself and T.O. is slandering or bashing anything Jerry did, because Jerry was at the top. Moss made some of the most spectacular plays of all time, but he doesn't have a body of worth that compares with Raya's. And Owens would be further down any objective list of the greatest receivers in NFL history. Outside of Moss as a guest on Owens' podcast, no one would put Rice third among all receivers in NFL history.